If you want to build the beast of a gaming PC, which processor should you pick? On one side we have Ryzen's 9950X3D, a chip that promises the best of both worlds, top tier gaming and elite productivity. On the other we have Intel's most powerful CPU, the Core i9-14900K, the fastest iteration for its platform that pushes clock speeds to the absolute limit. Today we're going to compare these two incredible processors to figure out which one is better. Better. To start, let's break down what makes these processors tick. The 9950X3D is built on the Zen 5 architecture, using an advanced 4 nanometer process technology. This smaller manufacturing process is a big deal because it generally leads to better power efficiency, which means more performance without generating excessive heat. Cores and threads are 16 and 32 respectively. This uniform approach is beneficial for heavily multi-threaded tasks like video rendering, as the system doesn't have to decide which type of core to use, it just unleashes all 16. It has a base clock of 4.3 GHz and can boost up to 5.7 GHz. Its TDP is rated at 170 watts, but soon we will share the thermal performance to see how far it goes. It can support a maximum of 192 GB of RAM. For expansion, it offers a generous 28 total PCIe 5 lanes to give you plenty of bandwidth for the latest GPUs and fast storage. This chip uses the modern AM5 socket, which AMD has promised to support for future generations, and that's a big, big advantage over Intel. On the other hand, the 14900K uses a refined Raptor Lake refresh architecture, built on a 10 nanometer process that Intel calls Intel 7. This is an older, larger process node which can impact efficiency. Its key difference is a hybrid design with 24 cores split into 8 powerful performance cores and 16 smaller efficient cores for a total of 32 threads. For those who don't know about the splitting, the idea is that P cores handle demanding tasks while E cores manage background processes. While this can be great for multitasking, it relies on the operating system scheduler to assign tasks correctly, which can sometimes be a bottleneck. Its power story is more complex. The listed 125 watts TDP on the spec sheet is just a baseline. The real number to watch is its 253 watt maximum turbo power, which reflects its actual draw under heavy load and has huge implications for cooling. Like the AMD chip, it also supports a maximum of 192 gigabytes of memory. This processor fits into the older LGA 1700 socket, which is a dead-end platform with no future CPU upgrades. Intel being Intel. Now let's look at how these specs translate into raw numbers in synthetic benchmarks. In Geekbench 6, the 14,900K scores around 3,064 in single core and 20,378 in multi core tests. For 9950X3D, the single core score is 3,434 and multi core score is 22,729. But what we have seen from Tom's hardware is that the 14,900K is about 3% faster in single threaded work, but the 9950X3D takes a lead in multi threaded performance. In Cinebench, the single core score of 14,900K is 139 and the multi core score is 2,177. For the Ryzen, the single core result is the same as 14,900K, but the multi core score is nearly double. For Blender, the results favor AMD. Gamers Nexus's review of the 14,900K showed it took 7.3 minutes to complete their render, which was slower than AMD's previous generation 7950X at 6.4 minutes. This strongly suggests the newer 9950X 3D holds a significant advantage here. Synthetic benchmarks are useful, but real world performance is what truly matters. In gaming, the results are overwhelmingly in favor of AMD. 
Tom's Hardware conducted an extensive review and concluded that the Ryzen 9 9950X 3D is an insurmountable 26% faster than 14900K in their 1080p gaming suite. This massive lead is due to AMD's 3DV cache technology, which stacks a huge amount of L3 cache on the processor to speed up access to game data. They also found that in their cumulative measure of multi-threaded performance, the Ryzen 9950X is 23% faster than the 14900K, largely due to its support for AVX512 instructions that accelerate certain workloads. Gamers Nexus saw this play out in specific titles. In their testing of Baldur's Gate 3, a CPU intensive game, they found the 9950X3D hit 155 FPS on average, making it a chart topper and a staggering 54% faster than its non-3D sibling, the 9950X. They noted that in games that benefit from the extra cash, Intel's chips remain uncompetitive. Similarly, in Dragon's Dogma 2, another CPU-heavy title, Gamers Nexus found the 9950X3D led the non-3D 9950X by 46%, again showcasing the power of the extra cache. However, as PC Gamer points out, some games that prefer raw clock speed, like Far Cry 6, can run better on the Intel chip. When it comes to productivity, the race is much closer and depends heavily on the application. The experts at Puget Systems, who specialize in workstation benchmarks, confirmed this lead in CPU rendering, finding the 9950X to be 20 to 30% faster than the 14,900,000 in applications like V-Ray and Blender. However, TechRadar's review points out that for some specific creative tasks like video editing and DaVinci Resolve, Intel's chips can still hold an advantage. Puget Puget Systems data supports this, showing the 14900K scoring 10 to 20% higher in most of their DaVinci Resolve tests. A critical performance factor is power and heat. Here, AMD has a clear win. Tom's Hardware reported that while the 9950X3D peaked at 233 watts, the Core i9-14900K has a voracious appetite for power, drawing up to 383 watts in a blender workload. MSI's own testing confirms this, showing the 14900K can exceed 320 watts in Cinebench R23, this massive power draw means the 1490K is much harder to cool and will run hotter. This brings us to the overall value proposition. The Ryzen 9 9950X 3D launched with an MSRP of $699, while the Core E914 900K has an MSRP around $589 and can often be found for less. However, the total cost of building a system around these processors tells a different story. The biggest additional cost for the Intel Core i9-14900K is cooling. Its extreme power consumption essentially requires a high-end 360 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler to prevent thermal throttling, which can add $150 or more to your build cost. The 9950X 3D, being far more power efficient, can be managed by a high-end air cooler or a smaller 280mm AIO, which are often cheaper options. Furthermore, the 14900K is the end of the line for its LGA1700 platform. As multiple reviewers and users on Reddit have pointed out, there will be no future CPU upgrades for this socket, making it a dead platform. In contrast, AMD's AM5 socket is still young, and AMD has promised to support it for years to come, offering a clear upgrade path in the future. This makes the AMD platform a better long-term investment. Now let's take a look at their goods and bads. For the ultimate enthusiast who wants the best of both worlds, the 9950X3D is the clear winner. It delivers unmatched gaming performance and top tier productivity power, all while being significantly more efficient. While its initial price is higher, the investment in the future-proof AM5 platform and lower cooling requirements make it the superior choice. Thanks for watching.
like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.